The plane carrying President Uru Kenyatta touched down at 6.30 a.m. here at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. And with it, it was clear that the president was indeed back and enjoying all the trappings of power that he did not for 48 hours. Upon arrival, President Uhuru Kenyatta, First Lady Margaret Kenyatta and their daughter Ngina were received by a high-profile delegation of cabinet secretaries and security chiefs, including the Chief of Defense Forces General Julius Karangi. It was evident that he was back as the head of state and commander-in-chief. As he proceeded to inspect a guard of honor that was mounted by the Kenya army, he marched with Lieutenant General Joseph Kipto Kasaon, the army commander, and his aide de camp. From here, the president sampled a bit of entertainment. The president then moved into a meeting with Deputy President William Ruto, whom he had appointed to act as president while he was away. Security chiefs attended this meeting. The difference was as clear as day and night from the Uhuru Kenyatta who left the country two days ago for The Hague. Now to start with, his motorcade was in place, his dress code was completely different, as was that of his aide-de-camp who today took his place behind his boss. The security chiefs were also in uniform. <laughs> And with that, the president left Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and made his way to a planned procession to cement his arrival. Asante kwa kutunga kiti. Well done. God bless. Thank you. Asante sana. Karibu bado dada. Mungu mwema. Naona diary bado imeaina kitu unaweza kuona. Willis Ruburu, Citizen Live at 9. Nairobi.